Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in solemn remembrance and fond celebration of the lives of these perfectly good, not at all defective magnet spheres, taken from us in their prime by seemingly random forces. Forged from the exact same stuff in the exact same place as many others just like them, these particular magnets have met with this cool fate on account of a profoundly mysterious technicality. Perhaps their sacrifice will someday inspire an interesting discussion or two in a law or philosophy classroom regarding what exactly these magnets are in their bare essence, as opposed to what box they happen to occupy at the moment, what label happens to be affixed to that box. Surely, however we magnify their legacy and lament their departure, these magnets will remain forever cheated out of being so very much more, illuminating so many things to so many minds, young and old. Each one a lens into the invisible world of electromagnetism. In Amalgam, the perfect vehicle for the finer points of molecular structure and crystallography, or even the towering abstractions of higher mathematics, all of which leaves aside their proven artistic merits. Truly, as we bid fond farewell to these magnets, we also mourn the smothered flame of insight and creativity they could have reflected from many a human soul for many years to come. Yet, it isn't for us lesser beings to question the provenance of the powers that be. Difficult as it is for our diminished intellects to understand how text on a package alters the physical properties of its contents, it is our legal obligation to abide by this narrow distinction as inflicted by the seemingly infinite duress of the CPSC. And so it is that we destroy these perfectly good magnet spheres. May you one day be reforged as part of a spaceship to effect your ultimate homecoming among the supernovas that once begat you billions of years ago.